Are you getting ready to take a trip on the Carnival Conquest? Well, stick with us. Because today we're going to go over the top five things to do when you're on the ship. I'm glad you're with us. Let's get to it. Let's rock. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, if you love everything cruising, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, quick shout out to some of our new members on the Rockin' the Boat Club, which is free to join. Uh, let's say hello to Johnny B. Hey. Waylon. Hello again. Sherry. Hi. Carol. Hey. And Joanne. Hello everybody, thank you so much for signing up. Hey, if, if you don't think you're going to be going on the group cruise and you're not sure if you want to sign up for the club, go ahead and put your email in. Uh, we're also going to do some meetups across the country uh, as well. So we can just notify you when one of those meetups happens. It's completely free to join. Yeah. Just go to rockintheboat.club and we'll just uh, keep you in the loop. Let's get into the top five on the Carnival Conquest. Number five, guess that groove. You're probably curious as to what Guess That Groove is, but it's actually pretty self-explanatory. It was a game show that was held in the main theater, humongous theater on the ship, and we showed up, and the first thing they say is, all right, everybody, this is crowd participation. We need five participants for each team, so 10 total, and uh, we're gonna need some volunteers. And Melissa stands up and goes, he'll do it, he'll do it. Of course, <laughs> he can sing. <laughs> We didn't know what it was gonna be, but you know, I was on the ship to have a good time, so I volunteered, and of course, I got called up on stage. So the way the game works is there's two teams, one on each side of the stage, and the object of the game is to either guess the artist of the song that they play, guess the name of the song, and in another round, you have to actually finish the lyrics of the song that they're playing. So they'll play like the first 10 seconds of the verse, and you have to finish the rest of the verse, or the chorus, or whatever. So. Uh, it was definitely challenging. However, on our team, uh, most of the people had got eliminated, and so it was just down to me against four of their players, and so it was me versus them. And my first challenge by myself was to sing Bon Jovi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Which he loves. <laughs> it was like a blessing in disguise. They couldn't have picked a better artist for me. Actually, the cruise director asked, all right, uh, Tommy, uh, you're the last man standing. It's going to be a tough road, but at least let me, I'll, I'll let you pick the genre of the, the uh, music that we're going to play for you. And I said, rock. And as soon as I said that, Bon Jovi kicks in. <laughs> it was so great. And I walked up and grabbed the mic, and I don't think the people were expecting <laughs> what came out of my mouth. So I killed that portion, that was Bon Jovi, and then I was the only one left on my team, so I had to go, I had to play the next round. The next round was Friends in Low Places by Garth Brooks, and I jacked up the lyrics, people. Yeah. I jacked up the lyrics just by two words, but that was it, I was done. But, because I was the last man standing, I got Bum, the golden da, trophy back there, see it? So if you watched our other videos, <laughs> I got one on the Liberty and I got one on the Conquest now. I'm going to go for all of the ships on, for the Carnival. I'm going to grab that golden trophy. We're going on the, what ship are we going on next week? The Radiance. We're going on the Radiance next week, so stay tuned. I'm going to win that trophy. <laughs> Number four, the Carnival Conquest. Now this is an adults only game and it's pretty <laughs> now some of you out there might have played the quest game on carnival we had never we've been on a bunch of carnival crews never played the quest game it starts at midnight and it's in the back of the ship in this private uh, bar 
and we had no idea what it was. It just said there's an, uh, a, a game for adults, so we went back there. I had my camera roll, I'll show you a little footage right here, but the first thing they mention is no cameras allowed, and I'm thinking, oh my god, what is what's gonna happen at this place? <laughs> no cameras allowed, so I respect it, I put my camera away, and there's good reason for that. <laughs> there is. If you've been to one, you know what we're talking about. We won't get specific because, you know, we said we wouldn't, whatever happens in Quest Game stays in the Quest Game. <laughs> so, just be prepared. It's a group game, and... I mean, anything goes. I mean, obviously it doesn't get X-rated, but pretty close. Anything goes, so they have you do certain challenges w within your group to uh, become the winner. And I think there was 10 rounds, and each round got a little bit more challenging as far as what you need to do. Uh, if you're on the ship and you're with a group of friends that like to have fun, I would definitely recommend the Quest game. Yes. Number three. The cruise director, Robbie Hal. Hey! What's up, Robbie? How you doing, buddy? Now, this is what a cruise director should be. We've never even mentioned a cruise director before. We've been on a ton of cruises, but this guy definitely deserves a shout out. This guy was all over the ship. I don't know how he has that much energy, but he does every single event that we went to, he was there. Yeah, he's amazing. I think there were secret passages <laughs> on the ship because I don't know how we got to each destination this, this, so quick. This guy teleports, I'm telling you, on the ship. <laughs> Scotty, beam me up. We would be at, a, for instance, a game show or the early evening. After the game show, we'd walk, go to the bathroom, maybe get a drink and go on to a different event. And there he is, pops up. Uh, <laughs> dressed to the nines. Yes. Great attitude. He got everybody involved. Everybody dancing at the deck party, which obviously cruise directors do, but there was just something different about this guy. Yeah. So we want to give him recognition. Hey, Carnival, give this dude a promotion. I think he's a fairly new cruise director. He deserves every bit of it. So congrats. And uh, if you see a cruise with Robbie on it as a cruise director, book it. Yeah. Number two, the sail away party. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Now this sail away party was extra special because this was during Christmas time. This was yes. mid-December and unlike any other sail away party I've seen. What, what was your favorite part of the sail away party? My favorite part was when the Dr. Seuss characters came out. Oh, there was right. the Grinch and Cat in the Hat. And all of a sudden, yes, they, they announced that the team was coming out, the carnival team, and right behind it was Cat in the Hat, which was really cool. And then Grinch was walking around, everybody was booing him, <laughs> throwing stuff at him. <laughs> if you're on the Conquest, don't miss the sailor party. I know some people tend to miss it, but make sure you get up on that uh, Lido deck and hit that sailor with party. If you want to see the full video on a sailor away party, we have put the link below. Number one, the food. Mm. <laughs> now, the food on Carnival is usually pretty good, but uh, the Conquest food was extra special. It was. I don't know what it was, but as soon as we got on the ship, uh, the, one of the first things we did is go to the buffet, and we got... Uh, A delicious flaky pot pie. Chicken mm. pot pie. Never seen it on Carnival. That was delicious. Yeah. And then for our first sit-down dinner, uh, they brought out the menu. There was emerald selections on there. We got some duck spring rolls. Yes, and we had the uh, Szechuan chicken. <laughs> oh, he pronounced it that time. I did. <laughs> but if you watch the sail away video, <laughs> we had some trouble saying Szechuan chicken. It was a tongue twister <laughs> that day. The whole trip, uh, the food selections were amazing. Yeah. And uh, of course, I always ended the night with my chocolate malted cake. Yum. <laughs> it's delicious, people. It is. It's like a oozing pudding cake. I only had five of them. <laughs> That's all we have for today, guys. We are getting on another ship in two days. What? We are getting on the Carnival Radiance out of Long Beach to Catalina and Ensenada. Yeah. And we have two special people joining us for that one. We and do. I don't think you've met them yet, so <laughs> look forward to that. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. And also, if you haven't joined Rock of the Boat Club, it's free, go ahead and do it. We just keep you up to date on what's coming up, group cruises, meetups, that kind of thing. And we'd love for you to join the family. And uh, that's it. Is that all? Yeah. <laughs> one last thing. Keep rocking the boat.
keep rocking, baby. See you next time. Yeah.